Greetings citizens of the world. We are anonymous. While sodium fluoride is commonly used as a rat poison, globalists and eugenicists have decided to add it to water supplies with the message to the public, that it is good for teeth, despite warnings from the American Dental Association, stating that young children risk a disease called dental flowerosis. The Guardian reported that fluoride water can also cause cancer. Fluoride being artificially added to drinking water in India, is causing blindness and deformities amongst children. Christopher Bryson's widely acclaimed book, The Fluoride Deception, includes dozens of peer-reviewed studies, showing that sodium fluoride is a deadly neurotoxin, that attacks the central nervous system, and leads to a multitude of serious health problems. This fact has been covered up by a collusion of government and industry, who have reaped financial windfalls, while illegally mass-medicating the public against their will. Perhaps the most notable study was conducted by, Dr. Phyllis Mullenix PhD, a highly respected pharmacologist and toxicologist, who in a 1995 Forsyth Research Institute study found, that rats who had fluoride added to their diet, exhibited abnormal behavioral traits. A 2008 Scientific American report concluded, that scientific attitudes toward fluoridation may be starting to shift, as new evidence emerged of the poison's link to disorders affecting teeth, bones, the brain, and the thyroid gland, as well as lowering IQ. Today almost 60% of the US population drinks fluoridated water, including residents of 46 of the nation's 50 largest cities, reported Scientific American's Dan Fagan, an award-winning environmental reporter and director of New York University's Science, Health and Environmental Reporting Program. The Scientific American study concluded, that fluoride can subtly alter endocrine function, especially in the thyroid the gland that produces hormones regulating growth and metabolism. The report also notes that a series of epidemiological studies in China, have associated high fluoride exposures with lower IQ. Epidemiological studies and tests on lab animals suggest, that high fluoride exposure, increases the risk of bone fracture, especially in vulnerable populations, such as the elderly and diabetics, writes Stan Fagan. Dan Fagan interviewed Stephen Levy, director of the Iowa Fluoride Study, which tracked about 700 Iowa children for 16 years. Nine-year-old Iowa children, who lived in communities where the water was fluoridated, were 50% more likely to have mild fluorosis, than nine-year-old children living in non-fluoridated areas of the state, writes Stan Fagan. The study adds to a growing literature of shocking scientific studies, proving fluoride's link with all manner of health defects, even as governments in the United States, including the United Kingdom, make plans to mass medicate the population against their will, with this deadly toxin. Most Americans already drink artificially fluoridated water. In 2005, a study conducted at the Harvard School of Dental Health found, that fluoride in tap water, directly contributes to causing bone cancer in young boys. New American research suggests, that boys exposed to fluoride between the ages of 5 and 10, will suffer an increased rate of osteosarcoma, bone cancer, between the ages of 10 and 19, according to a London Observer article about the study. Based on the findings of the study, the respected environmental working group lobbied to have fluoride and tap water be added, to the US government's classified list of substances known, or anticipated to cause cancer in humans. Cancer rates in the US have skyrocketed with one in three people now, contracting the disease at some stage in their life. The link to bone cancer has also been discovered by other scientists. But a controversy ensued after it emerged, that Harvard professor Chester Douglas, who downplayed the connection in his final report, was in fact, the editor-in-chief of the Colgate Oral Health Report, a quarterly newsletter funded, by the Colgate Palmolive Company, which makes fluoridated toothpaste. An August 2006 Chinese study found, that fluoride in drinking water, damages children's liver and kidney functions. 
growing opposition to fluoridation of water supplies in light of this evidence is contributing to a scaling back of water fluoridation programs, with voters in places like Mount Pleasant, calling for the amount added to be reduced. With awareness about sodium fluoride on the increase, the establishment is now moving to demonize anyone who raises the issue, as a dangerous lunatic. In an official press release, the Fluoride Action Network, slams recent mischaracterizations of fluoridation opponents by political pundits, Rachel Maddow, Keith Olbermann, and others, in conjunction with Senator Harry Reid's Nevada re-election campaign. Keith Olbermann sardonically attacked Nevada primary winner, Sharon Angle, for speaking out against water fluoridation, because she thinks the fluoride might be poison. Amidst his sophomoric jibes, Keith Olbermann failed to explain why, if fluoride is not a poison as he claims, the word toxic, is written on the packaging of bags of sodium fluoride, that are dumped into the water supply of many Americans. Sodium fluoride is a part 2 poison, under the UK Poisons Act of 1972. In addition, toothpaste manufacturers are required by law, to include the following text on their products, and it goes. If you accidentally swallow more than used for brushing, seek professional help, or contact a poison control center immediately. The website, fluoridealert.org, has a wealth of scientific information indicating, that water fluoridation is neither safe, nor effective, states the press release. In fact, mounting evidence shows, that it is harmful to large segments of the population, and has helped to create an epidemic of dental flowerosis in children. On April 12, 2010, Time magazine listed fluoride, as one of the top 10 common household toxins, and described fluoride as both, neurotoxic, and potentially tumorigenic, if swallowed. Here are the facts about fluoride. Fluoride is a waste byproduct of the fertilizer and aluminium industry, and it is also a part 2 poison, under the UK Poisons Act of 1972. Fluoride is one of the basic ingredients in both Prozac, and sarin nerve gas. USAF, Major George R. Jordan, testified before un-American activity committees of Congress in the 1950s, that in his post as US Soviet liaison officer, the Soviets openly admitted, to using the fluoride in the water supplies, in their concentration camps, to make the prisoners stupid, docile, and subservient. The first occurrence of fluoridated drinking water on Earth, was found in Germany's Nazi prison camps. The Gestapo had little concern about fluoride's supposed effect on children's teeth. Their alleged reason for mass medicating water with sodium fluoride, was to sterilize humanity, and force the people in their concentration camps, into calm submission. In reference to the book, The Crime and Punishment of I.G. Farben, by Joseph Borkin, 97% of Western Europe, has rejected fluoridated water, due to the known health risks, however, 10% of Britons drink it, and the United Kingdom government, is trying to fast track the fluoridation, of the entire country's water supply. In Germany, Belgium, and Luxembourg, fluoridation of water was rejected, because it was classified as compulsive medication against the subject's will, and therefore, violated fundamental human rights. In November of 2006, the American Dental Association advised, that parents should avoid giving babies fluoridated water. Sources of fluoride include, fluoride dental products, fluoride pesticides, fluoridated pharmaceuticals, processed foods made with fluoridated water, and tea. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. United as one. Divided by none. To the governments on our world that are trying to reduce humanity. Be very well prepared. To expect all of us. For the fluoride treason.